Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into three chaos boxes from Walmart. So these things are going for $24.97 from your local Walmart or Maya store. So you get five set boosters and a promo card. Not as much of a good deal as the target boxes we were opening, but still not terrible. But I do recommend you visit your local game store instead. Alright, what do we got here? Starting off with a Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. So let's get to cracking. Hoping to get a Bosiju today. We start off here with Naomi. Pillar of Order for the art cards. Alright, and what else? We have Blossoming Sands, Covert Technician, Nozumi Blade Blesser, Season of Renewal, Careful Cultivation, Grafted Growth, Moonfolk Puzzle Maker, Leech Gauntlet, Acquisition Octopus, Azusa's Many Journeys. This one flips into Likeness of the Seeker. And invoke despair. Yes, that'll be us today. Despairing over the terrible pools. Foil moon snare specialist. And a magic minigame booster sleuth. Any magic minigame fans out there, let me know in the comments. On to Phyrexia. All will be one. Okay, another decent set. So, getting into it, I think we've got to do a card trick here to build the suspense. We have a Char Forger, the Autonomous Furnace, Furnace Skull Bomb, Blazing Crescendo, Bone Picker Scourge, Fleshless Gladiator, and a nice Swamp. We've got Kaito Dancing Shadow for the art card. And add card, nope, it's a Rebel. Foil free from flesh. And the Eternal Wanderer for the rare. Okay, not terrible. Rustvine Cultivator, Cacophony Scamp, a Phyrexian Goblin Warrior, and Exuberant Fuseling, another Goblin. And I see a promo card here. What did we get this time? Okay, Welcoming Vampire. Not the worst promo card we've gotten out of these. Sometimes they just put in any random foils and you're like what the heck that is not a promo card okay another pack of phyrexia here so gone are the days when they stuff these full of streets new capenna midnight hunt and crimson vow we have jawbone duelist bladed ambassador quicksilver fisher fleshless gladiator tyrannax atrocity sinew dancer and a forest art card is Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. That would be a crazy pull if we could find one of those. Chances are not great though. We've got a Phyrexian Goblin. Font of Progress in foil. And Sea Chrome Coast for the rare. Oh, we've got two rares here. Koth, Fire of Resistance. And a Sinew Dancer and Porcelain Zealot. Alright, two more packs to go from this first one. Okay, not too shabby. Wilds of Eldraine. Hoping for some insane enchanting tales pulls here. We've got Royal Treatment along with Quick Study, Break the Spell, Johan Stopgap, Baluna's Gatekeeper, Planes. Art card is Stab Wound. And what else? A Bird Token. Knightly Valor in foil. So there's an enchanting tale. We'll get another one. Vampiric Rites and Tangled Colony. Got the Rats, Pests of Honor, Shrouded Shepherd and Woodland Acolyte. Okay, so one more here from this first box. Not terrible, but not brilliant. Okay, March of the Machine. So another so-so set, but it has some decent stuff in it. We got Norn's Inquisitor, Wary Thespian, Ren's Resolve, that's actually a decent pull, Realm Breaker's Grasp, Timberland Ancient, and a Foil Mountain. Art card is Kogler and Yadaro. What a team up is that? Incubator and a Phyrexian Foil Volcanic Spite. And C-double for the rare. 
Rona shoulders faithful and invasion of Regatha. So these battles double sided. We got disciples of the Inferno. Not Vold Hermit. We are being trolled with a Chrome Host Halt on the other side. And Elvish Vat Keeper. Okay, so that is the first box. On to box number two. So I've got to say, a little bit underwhelming that first one. So let's hope for something better here. And they don't have any really crazy packs. Some of the uh, earlier Chaos boxes you could get like vintage packs, but not with these. Okay, jigging in. Oh, okay. If you're uh, sick of Phyrexia and so forth, maybe you would not want to pick these up. This is why I suggest go to your local game store. You can pick the exact packs you want, or better yet, just buy some single cards. We have Jawbone Duelist, Mere Kinsmith, Mere Custodian, Terramorphic Expanse, Thirsting Roots, Suddenly Out of Focus. We have a Dune Mover, Swamp. Art card is against all odds. And I don't even know what I'm looking at there. Maybe it goes around that way. I'm not sure. We've got a magic minigame, Dominarios. And on the other side, Kethic Crucible Goliath. Okay, so there's a foil rare. Followed by Vran, Execution of Thane, Mere Convert, Ossification, and Porcelain Zealot. Reaching in here. What else we got? It is a Kamigawa. Okay, so they must have a excess of Kamigawa and Phyrexia. We have a Swamp. And this are absolutely fantastic in this set. We've got an Island. Heiko Yamazaki, the General. Moonsnare Specialist. Reckoner's Bargain. Reckoner's Shakedown. Chain Flail, Centipede, Enormous Energy Blade. Unforgiving one, Azusa, I think we saw that earlier, and Myogen of Towering Might. Didn't we get that? Or am I thinking, no, I'm thinking of something the other day we saw that one. Invoke Despair, okay. I see what's happening here. Bamboo Grove Archer in foil. What is the list? Yeah, we're just going to keep pulling duplicates, aren't we? That's the usual way it goes. Okay, Wilds of Eldrain. Quite happy to get more packs of this. This is a great set if you haven't opened any. We have Gingerbread Hunter along with three bowls of porridge. Grand Bulgus, Skewer Slinger, Stockpiling Celebrant Island. Art card is Spiteful Hex Mage. Okay, and we have a magic minigame, Booster Blitz. Yes, what is your favorite minigame? Do you even have any? Crickets, we've got a Sky Beast Tracker in foil. Parallel Lives, ding, 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 ding. Okay, Mythic and Shining Tail. Goblin Bombardment, we get two in that one. Three, Griffin Airy. And Talion the Kindly Lord, another Mythic. Greta, Sweet Tooth Scourge to finish. I need to whack this Parallel Lives in a sleeve. I think it's probably only about five bucks these days, but still, best pull of the video so far. Oh, here we go. So, we've got a uh, another welcoming vampire. There's our promo. And, of course, Phyrexia. In case you weren't sick of the set yet, we've got more to come, apparently. And we've got Resistance, Reunited, Charge of the Mites, Indoctrination Attendant, Eye of Malkado, Gold Warden's Helm, Island, Art Card is the Fair Basilica. Goes around that away. Awesome Phyrexian architecture and a rebel token veil of assimilation that totally looks like a Cyberman and Skrelv Defectomite. That's not too shabby. Koth Fire of Resistance. Okay. Yep, we're just going to pull duplicates. What did I say? Urbras Anointer and Blade Hold Wall Whip. Oh, we've got one more here. Rebel Salvo. Okay, reaching in. What do we got? I think there's one more. Yes, we have March of the Machine. Okay, so we're getting the same sets over and over. Let's see a bit more variety here, please, Walmart. Or uh, MJ Holding, I should say. Pyretic Prankster, flipping it into Glistening Gormonger. Artistic Refusal, Change the Equation. 
So for Blade Assailant, I Core Shade Blossoming Sands. Art card is Rona Talarian Obliterator. Alright, and what else? Incubator, Phyrexian Token, Omen Hawker in Foil, and Invasion of Fiora. Okay, what happened on Fiora? We got Marchesa Resolute Monarch. Okay, a Moti Celebrant of Bounty with the uh, Arm and Cat ripoff there. A Yara First of Lock Thwain with the Showcase Art, another rare. Invasion of Pyralea. What happens on Pyralea stays there. Gargantuan Slabhorn. Harried Artisan with a Phyrexian Skyflayer. Another underwhelming pack and underwhelming box. Final packs here. Final box of Chaos. And uh, I'm not sure if these are still on store shelves. Probably best to just leave them there, honestly. But uh, last time I saw them was like in uh, early May. This was from early May. Maybe June, I think I'm, I spotted some. But yeah, would not recommend these unless you have no nearby game stores. On to some more Wilds of Eldraine. We have Aeshiox Reaper. Eerie Interference, Collector's Vault, Frolicking Familiar, Harried Spearguard, Rat Out, Voracious Vermin, Swamp, Art Card is Totentan, Swarm Piper. And what else? We've got a Monster Sorcerer Token, Wicked Visitor Foil, Raid Bombardment, and Hilda of the Icy Crown Mythic. Pretty bulky though, and taken by Nightmares. Okay, reaching in, I see the same promo card, Welcoming Vampire. These were going for about a buck a piece on TCG Player a while back. Probably not so much these days. More Phyrexia, just what you always wanted. And we got a glimpse at a list pool here. Hoping it's a good one. We have Furnace Punisher, along with Mir Kinsmith, Icor Synthesizer, Mesmerizing Dose, Sawblade Scamp. Foil Forest art card is Roar of Resistance. Yes, looks like some goblins there. And Argothian Elder. Okay, so that one is from Urza's block. We've got a Blight Belly Rat Foil and Dragon Wing Glider for the rare. Sawblade Scamp, Bone Picker Scourge, Shouldred's Edict. That's actually decent. And Minor Mystic. Okay, and what do we got? Oh, Kamigawa, at least. Surely we can pull a Besiju. That would just make it all worthwhile. We have an Asari Captain. And what's that other one with the clouds? I forget the name of it, but that would be cool as well. Scoured Barons, a Ganjo Exemplar, Iron Apprentice, Dramatist Puppet, Bearer of Memory, Rabbit battery, bon bronze plate boar, bleh, bronze, <laughs> bronze plate boar, what is going on? The long reach of night. I'm just going downhill. Animus of night's reach and the shattered state's era, flipping it into Nameless Conqueror, Life of Toshiro, and Takanuma Abandoned Maya. That's an okay pull. Oh, Lion Sash with the showcase art. That's pretty tasty. And a spirit. All right, you will never guess this next pack. Oh, Phyrexia. This is awesome. If you like this set, if you don't, you're out of luck. Let's see what we get this time. We have a Trax's Skitterfang. Distorted Curiosity, Basilica Skull Bomb, Zealot's Conviction, Duelist of Deep Faith, Incisor Glider, Forest. Art card is the Dross Pits. A bit like these boxes, really. And a rare here. We have Imad the Storm Cleaver. So this is one of these uh, SLX cards. Uh, reprinted from Secret Lair with a magic skin. Hex Gold, Halberd in foil. And Soulless Jailer for the rare. Blightbelly Rat, Cinder Slash Ravager, and Icor Plate Golem. Alright, one more pack in... Oh! No, what the? Okay, we've got a surprise in there. What is going on? Okay. 
Well, let's uh, get through this and see what our surprise is. We have Bright Palm Soul Awakener. Okay, there's a mythic. Along with Invasion of Asgol, flipping it into Ashen Reaper. Captive Weird on the other side. We've got Completed Conjurer, Mutagen Connoisseur, Streetwise Negotiator, Scroll Shift, Searing Barb, Island, Art Card is Botanical Brawler. There we go. And what else? Needle Spectre from the list. And what on earth is that set symbol? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments. Oh, nice. Foil Etched and Offends a Kintry Spirit. Not too shabby. And a Mythic. Invasion of Innistrad. All right. It's about a buck these days. Deluge of the Dead. Quend Pride of Femerif and Dina Soul Steeper. And there was a little surprise in here. Uh, hopefully not replacing uh, one of our packs. I wasn't really keeping that close track. But what do we got here? A Dominaria United box top. I haven't seen this before in these uh, boxes. Oh, wow. Ho, ho. Tawaki the Young Girl. Big deal. Okay, so there we go. Walmart Chaos Boxes. Check them out at your local Walmart or Maya store. Or better yet, go to your local game store and pick the packs you want. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.